This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the public release of iOS 15 and everything that you need to know regarding this update and the release of iOS 15. Now, before we get into that, make sure to smash the like button on this video. That helps out a lot and of course, will help this video do much, much better. All right, so first of all, we're talking about the next releases of betas of iOS 15. As you probably know, this week, Apple has released beta six. And from now on, we're moving to a one week cycle. So you can expect Apple to release a new beta every week until we get to the final release of iOS 15. Now moving to the calendar right here, you can see that beta six was released on the 17th. A week from that date, you can expect on the 24th to see beta seven. And then on the 31st, you can expect to see beta eight, which I truly believe will maybe be the last beta of iOS 15 before we move to the RC or the GM version. And then of course, to the final release of iOS 15 to the public. But we're going to talk about that in just a second, because we have some really good information regarding the release date of iOS 15, which of course is very closely related to the release of the new iPhones, but we're going to talk about that in just a second here. Let me first tell you guys how you can update to iOS 15 when it is released. Of course, if you're on the beta right now, how to update to the public version of iOS 15. So if you have installed iOS 15 beta on your device, and once it gets released to the public, you want to update to the public version. What you need to do is before the public version update releases, you go ahead and go to your settings, go to general and right here, go to VPN and device management. And right here now you will find the beta profile. Now you should do this before the GM or the RC versions get released. If you install the GM or the RC version, it means that you have the final version of iOS 15 and then it won't show on your device, even though you might have removed this after you have done that. So if you're on beta eight or beta nine, whichever beta is last, you go ahead and remove this profile from here. Of course, you enter a passcode, delete the profile, and then go ahead and just reboot your device. And once you're back, you're good to go. Once iOS 15 gets released to the public, then you will get, of course, an update simply by going right here at the top of the settings of the general settings. You should get the update right here. Now, one really interesting thing about iOS 15 is that it should, as Apple said it should allow you to skip iOS 15. Now if you go right here under software update and you go to automatic updates, you should have here a new option which probably will come in the next few betas, maybe even on the RC version, but it should actually be here when it gets released to the public. Now, Apple had tested this with beta of iOS 14.5, I believe, and this is what it looks like. This, this should come on the next few betas of iOS 15, basically allowing you to skip iOS 15 and just install the security updates. So this will be new for iOS users. Of course, it will be quite different you're allowed to actually just skip iOS 15, but it's quite good. I really like it. And I of course suggest everyone to install iOS 15 on their device. So if you have both of these installed, of course you will get iOS 15 automatically once it gets released to the public. And we're going to go to the date right now. So just go ahead, enable those and you're good to go. You will get the download and the install on automatic. Now here we have a report that comes from Apple Hub here and according to WebBurst analyst Daniel Ives, the iPhone 13 should be released on the third week of September. iPhones are always released on the Friday, so the third week of September is the 17th, that's the Friday of that week. So you can expect the new iPhones to be released on the 17th. That of course lets us know that iOS 415 will be here before the 17th. Now here are the dates. Now, according to that report, if the iPhones get released on the 17th, they will go pre-order a week before, which makes it of course, September 10th, and they should be presented to the public probably on the 7th or maybe even the 8th, but I believe it will be the 7th. And that's the date that Apple will most likely also release the RC or the GM version of iOS 15. And then these are the date when we can expect to see iOS 15 getting released to the public because of course it will be released before the new iPhones go out to the to the buyers. Now usually Apple does it a day before maybe even two so on the 16th, 15th or 14th of September. Those are the dates that you will get the new iOS 15 update on your device. 
And now let's take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace gives you a powerful and beautiful online platform to create your website, connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content, easily manage your members, send email communications and leverage your audience insights and all of that in one easy to use platform. You can create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes as well. With Squarespace, you get very powerful e-commerce capabilities, but you can also extend them using Squarespace extensions. And these third-party tools will help you manage your inventory, promote your products, and even file sales tax. Go ahead and give it a try by going to squarespace.com, get a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, go ahead and go to squarespace slash iReviews to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. You will find the links right down below in the description of the video. Of course, whenever we get such a huge release, everyone will ask, should you update or not? I know a lot of people actually don't like iOS 15, even though I believe it has a ton of very useful features, which you will find useful and will use maybe even more than the stuff that we got on iOS 14, like the widgets and stuff like that. Now, one major problem was with, with Safari. So people didn't like Safari on iOS 15, but with beta six, now we get back the old iOS 14 look on Safari. That of course is very helpful and very glad that Apple did that. So when it comes to should you update or not, I believe you should. It has great features. It has probably like more than 500 new features, which I will try to make a video on all of those and it should be pretty fun. So yes, if you have a device that supports iOS 15, which of course are the same devices as iOS 14, then go ahead and don't just install the security updates of iOS 15, but make sure you go ahead and install this update. It has some really great features. So again, you can expect iOS 15 to be released to the public on September, the third week here, 14th, 15th, or the 16th of September. Those are the three main dates that I believe we're getting this update. It's a great update. Make sure you go ahead and update to iOS 15. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And of course, great new videos that are coming with the release of iOS 15 to the public. So that's it. Thank you, guys. And I will see you on the next one.